This is the Jet Set 10 air tent from Zempire. It's an eight to 10 person tent that packs up nice and small and sets up really quickly with one of these. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's get started. Hey folks, Ben from Snowy's here down in Adelaide's leafy eastern suburbs at the Brown Hill Creek Tourist Park. It's a beautiful little stopover if you're looking to get away for the weekend or just wanna base yourself somewhere to check out the Adelaide Hills. I'm down here today with a Zempire product. This in front of me here is the Zempire Jet Set 10 inflatable air tent. I'm gonna show you how to set it up and pack it away today. When it's packed away like this, as it comes, measures about 70 centimeters in length and about 40 centimeters in diameter. It depends on how tightly you roll it up when you pack it away again. And it weighs in at about 22 kilos is what I measured this one at. I'll start by showing you what comes in the bag. So inside the bag, which is a, a pretty handy bag, it's, it's got some compression straps on it and the tape is right open at the end here. So it's really easy to get the tent back inside. It's all wrapped up with a couple of compression straps here with metal D-rings. You get these metal poles here, which are for your awning at the front. And these come in a really cool bag. I just want to mention this. Um, these ends of the bag on both ends are actually padded with reinforcement inside. So when these poles are wrapped up inside the tent, it's not going to uh, cause any damage or, or, or these aren't going to put holes in any of the fabric. You get a bag of pegs and guy ropes. And this is the main tent and the fly all attached in together as one. And this here is the pump that you use to set it up. Now you've got to assemble this a little bit. There's uh, four parts to it. Um, you've got the main pump, you've got a pressure release valve, and you've got an actual pressure gauge. So we want to install this in the following order. Um, we go, there's a deflate and an inflate side. We want to put this on the inflate side. We put our pressure release gauge in to start with. This releases um, air at nine PSI, so we don't in over inflate the air tubes. And then we attach the pressure gauge to the pressure release gauge. And from there, we attach our hose into the pressure gauge. And that is ready to inflate the temp. The next step is to grab the main portion of the tent. We've got to spread it out and we put the four corner pegs in place first. So we just want to make sure we've got our doors zipped up. Now I've got the tent oriented uh, facing this way. There's two doors at the front, so I want my tent facing that way. So that's all set up, good to go. I zip these up so that as the tent inflates, um, it takes the right form and we're not causing any undue stress on the zip. So make sure your doors are done up. And before I go any further, I just want to show you um, these poles. I'm actually going to snip the zipper on this and show you what they look like inside. Now these are actually a bladder contained within this fabric and there's zippers on here which are, are sealed with a cable tie. I'm going to snip this today. You'd always want to put the cable tie back on there because you don't want the zip to undo while the, uh, the bladders are inflated. But I'm going to do this for you now to show you what they look like inside. So this is a, a synthetic material on the outside. If I unzip this, we can see on the inside we've got this clear, it feels like quite a, it's quite a thick durable rubbery bladder in there. That's concealed within, it's actually three layers here. This is a polyethylene material. It's actually two or three layers of that. Uh, and then on the outside is a nylon material that feels like it's actually laminated to the polyethylene on the inside as well. So that's what contains the bladder inside. So they're well protected and very, very little chance of a puncture actually happening. I'm just gonna push these zips to the bottom because I don't want them separating in the middle while the, the bladder is actually inflated and I don't have any more cable ties to do it up again today. So we grab our pump, we come down to the inflation port. Now there's actually two of these. We only need to inflate the tent from one of them. There's one on this corner and one on the opposite corner over here as well. We wanna make sure the inflation port that we're not using is done up, otherwise we're pumping air in one and it's just coming out the other. So I've got it tightened on the other side there. Now there's two levels or two um, uh, different caps to these, um, these ports. If I take the whole thing out, it's in sort of deflation mode. So the air will all escape out of there now. If I put that cap back in there and remove the top cap, it becomes an inflation port whereby underneath this top cap here, there's a little one-way valve that allows air to go in and won't escape out. We grab our pump, we put the little adapter on the end here, like this. That fits snugly or neatly inside the port there and we can start pumping. Now, the bladders inside here can take up to about 30 PSI. The tent only needs about seven to nine PSI to be inflated properly. On a warm day, about seven PSI. On a cold or particularly windy day, go up to nine PSI. 
This valve on here will start releasing pressure at nine PSI, so we can't over inflate the tent. From here, we start pumping until the tent sort of gets half inflated, then we stop. So let's get to that stage. Okay, now I've probably been pumping for about a minute now uh, and the poles are starting to get firm. We want to stop at this stage here and just give the frame a little bit of help to pump up or to, to pop up. The six poles come into a central point. If they get twisted, we can run into problems. So I've just got to step in here now, and just straighten the frame out. So I've just kind of straightened that out. I know that, that that hub in the middle where all six poles are coming together isn't twisted, so I can keep pumping now, but I will just keep an eye on things, make sure it's taping, taking shape properly. I'm not completely inflated yet, but I've just walked around. The frame's starting to take shape. I'm just looking up underneath here to make sure the poles aren't twisted. Other things I noticed, first time this has been pumped up, was the fly was done up a little bit tight in the corners and it was kind of pulling the frame down. So just loosen the buckles on the corners there. And the other thing is to maybe make sure you've got a door or a little access point like this where air can come in because it, it was trying to suck air into the tent as the frame was going up. It made it a little bit awkward. So just a few tips for first time setups. I can now go and complete the, the inflation of these poles up to seven to nine PSI. So this valve here has now started releasing air as I'm pumping the air is coming out the top of the valve, which indicates that we're up to nine PSI. The valve's only showing about seven and a half to eight, so it's a rough indication. I'll also mention while I'm here, this is a double action pump, so it pumps air in as you pull up and as you push down as well. So we're good to go now. We can take this valve or this the pump out of the valve here, being a one-way valve, air's not going to escape. We can put the cap on and that's our frame all inflated. Let's go around the edges now, put the pegs in the corners of the fly, and then we can set the awning up. So I put four pegs in around the base, two on each end and one at the rear here. This is our rear storage vestibule. We've got a number of gyrops we can use as well. There's, there's one here to sort of pull this out a bit and create more space at the back here. And there's three gyrops along each side, which we should always put in um, to give maximum stability for the tent. Once we've got them in place, we can go around the front and I'll show you the different options for the awning. So I've got all the guy ropes in. There are a few extra guy points that you can put in around the base of the tent as well. And now we can set up the awning or the vestibule at the front. Now we've got a number of options here. Firstly, we can just peg it out like a storage awning like this. We've got peg points here and another peg point just here. So we can actually peg this out as a little sort of storage vestibule. We've got an access door here if we wanted, if we were to peg it out that way that we can unzip and this creates not a big space to stand in, but if we were to peg this out, it would create a weather protected um, storage or awning, um, a vestibule to store your gear in. The, probably the better alternative is to set it up as a gull wing awning. Now there's another zip that runs up the middle here, so we can actually set it up sort of half and half if we like. There's eyelets in all these corners. So you've got quite a few options with the vestibule here. We could peg this one out as such, and then peg this one out as sort of shade on half the tent, or we zip all of this together and set the whole thing up as one large joining out the front, which is what I'm gonna do for you now with the included poles. Now it's a bit of a jigsaw putting these awning poles together, but what I've worked out is that all the short sections make the long center pole, and the long sections make the two short side poles. Now you get three long guy ropes that come with your kit, they go over the top of each of these poles. You get two shorter guy ropes as well, and they hold the little set of gull wings out on the sides. So we can now start putting our awning up. Well, that's the Jet Set 10 all set up. A few things I'll mention is that if you've got the awning set up like this, you probably wouldn't want to use it for, um, only use it for shade, not for uh, actual rain protection. You have got a zip down here that gives you that versatility to set up one side or the other, but obviously water is gonna leak through here and it does scoop down a little bit, so it's gonna actually pull water. One other thing I haven't mentioned yet, um, or haven't shown you is that you can actually set the inner up by itself without the fly. This fly sheet is attached with a clip down the bottom here to the inner tent. So that's easily attached at the base. And then as you move up, it's just attached around the air pole or the air system here, air pole system with these loops. And as you get up to the top here, it's a bit hard to see, but there are little tabs here that just attach it on the corners like this. So the fly is easily removed. 
But the real benefit of the air tents is that you can set it all up together and you can pack it all up together. You're not gonna damage the fly rolling it all up, so it makes setup really quick and easy. That's how you set up the Jet Set 10 air tent from Zempire. Pack up is probably easier than set up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take all the awning poles out and all the pegs and gyros for the awning. Take all the pegs around out from the base of the fly. Before we let the frame down, we do just wanna make sure we've got both doors zipped up. So I've taken all the pegs out from the base of the fly. I've got my pegs and poles packed away. I've disassembled the pump, or I've at least taken the, the pressure release valve and the pressure gauge out and packed that separately. Now it's the cool bit. We get to let the air out of the frame here. So we come to one of these ports here and this top section that we used to pump it up before, we leave that done up and we actually undo the lower bit just above the black valve that you can see there. As we do that, air is gonna rush out really quickly. It's gonna make a really cool gushing sound and the tent is just gonna collapse down in front of us. So that's the tent collapsed down now. I am gonna also undo the valve on the other side there so that as we're rolling it up, it gives another point for the air to escape. I can then go ahead and pull the four pegs out of each corner and start to roll it up, put it back in the bag. This is the real beauty of the air tents is we can leave everything attached here. The fly sheets in the middle there, I can just throw all the globes and everything in the middle, roll it all up together. Now I'm gonna roll from this side towards the valves on that side so any air that's left in the air poles is being squeezed out as I go. I'll grab my bag here for a rough guide on how long it needs to be. I'll just fold this up until it's about the length of the bag, roll it up and it'll go back in nice and easily. That is how you set up and pack away the Jet Set 10 air tent from Zempire. I reckon I could probably roll it up a little bit tighter, get it back in the bag even easier, but it certainly wasn't as struggle as it is now. I reckon these are the ultimate family camping tent because they set up really easily, they pack away even easier, and they're not too big in the boot of your car. You can grab them online at snowys.com.au at our lowest prices every day. If you like that video, subscribe to our channel. We'll send you all of our latest and greatest information. If you've got any questions about the Jet Set 10 or any tents in our range, let us know down in the comments below or check out some other videos like this one down here.